What's up everyone, I'm Sonnet here and today I'm gonna show you how you can turn a football image into a flat vector illustration. This video is going to be a bit different than usual. As you can see, this is the first time I'm going to use a reference image for my video. So if you are a beginner, please try to learn the process and steps that I'm gonna show you in this video. By following these steps, you can turn almost any kind of image into a flat vector illustration. So let's begin. I found this image on Google, I will leave the image link in the description so you can download and practice it. As usual, I am going to use a 1920 and 1080 pixel canvas with RGB color mode. But you can go with whatever the size you want. Now double click in this square icon on the layer. Now give the layer name to template and also check the template option. So the opacity of this layer will be 50% automatically. By the way, if you don't find the layer option on the sidebar, just go to Windows and here is the layer option. The shortcut is F7. We will then create a new layer by hitting this icon and rename the layer to Outline. For rename the layer, just double click on the name. Now select a black stroke color and keep the stroke value to 650 with rounded caps and corner. If you don't find the stroke option in the sidebar, here is another stroke option in the top left corner and if you click the stroke name, you will find all the options. Now select the ellipse tool or press L from your keyboard to activate it. Now create a circle and adjust it perfectly around the ball. Now turn up the stroke and effect scaling option from the transform tool. Or if you don't find the transform tool here, just go to windows and here is the transform tool. The shortcut is shift plus F8. Let's create the outline for the black area first. Select the pen tool or press P from your keyboard to activate it. Now create a straight line around this black area. Ok perfect, now select the curvature tool and drag to adjust the area. Perfect. Now using the same method, create outline for the other radius. Alright, so for the outer black areas, create the outline like this. Make sure to take some extra areas on the both side, because it will help us to remove the extra areas later. Now adjust the lines using the curvature tool. Perfect, now using the same method, create outline for the other areas. Thank you. 
Okay, we covered all the black areas. Now we will cover the white areas using the pen tool like this. As I said before, please take some extra area both sides of the line so that it will help us to delete the extra area later. To separate this connection, press pre from your keyboard. Alright, now select everything, activate the shape builder tool and click on every single shape. Remember, you must have to click on every single area. It wouldn't be a problem if you clicked multiple times on a single shape. So feel free to click a shape multiple times if you have any doubt. Now take some time to select and delete all the extra parts. Alright, we perfectly created the outline of the ball. As you can see, all the parts are now separated. Now create a new layer and give the name color. Make sure the outline layer is always in the top. Now select everything, hold Alt from your keyboard and drag this little red square icon into the color layer and then lock the outline layer. By doing this, we duplicated all the outlines and transferred them into the color layer. Now I want to show you one more thing. If you want to change the guide color, for me it is green now. If you want to change it, just double click on the square icon of the layer and you will find all the colors option. I am giving it a sign color for now, but you can select whatever looks good for you. Now select this black area and convert the stroke into fill color. Do the same thing for all the black areas. Perfect, now using the same method, fill all the white area with white color. Or you can select all the white areas at a time by using shift from your keyboard. And then convert this stroke into fill color and give it a white color. Perfect. Ok now we have to add few light effects. Select the pen tool and create a white outline like this. Convert the fill color into a stroke and make the size 3pt and change the uniform to this one. 
perfect. Now following the same method, create few more lights like this. Perfect, we created all the lights, now we have to create few shadow. For that, select the pen tool and create a shape like this. Give it a black color. Now select everything, activate the shape builder tool, hold alt from your keyboard and click this extra part to remove it. Now select the shape and make the opacity to 5%. Following the same method, we have to create another shadow like this. This time, keep the opacity 7%. Perfect. Now select the ellipse tool or press L from your keyboard to activate it and create a circle like this. Give it a gray color as a shadow. Place it perfectly. I think I need to make it a bit bigger. Okay, perfect. Now select and right click on it, go to variance and send to back. Now select the rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. Give it a white color. And then right click on it, arrange and send to back. And here we go everyone. We perfectly created this flat style football from a reference image. I know there is a bit confusion, is it a football or a soccer ball? Let me know in the comment section what it is called in your country. Is it a football or a soccer ball? Okay that's it for today, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you're learning Adobe Illustrator or graphic design, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'm creating design video every week. See you in the next one.